Hi, thank you for tuning in to the Destiny Wakefield broadcast. Unfortunately, this week we're not able to bring you what we recorded on Sunday morning. Uh, that was due to a technical fault, but instead you get me here on Monday and I'm going to just give you a few thoughts about what we spoke about during um, our time yesterday together. We were talking about relationships. Relationships are really important. You know, you think about all the connections you have in your life, all the uh, different uh, people who are interconnected. Um, it is huge and we need each other. Relationships are also sensitive. You know, most of our hurts and disappointments in life have to do with people, have to do with the relationships that we have, but still we need each other. We were reminded last week by Apostle Ian, that the Bible says in 59 times to one another, to pray for one another, to encourage one another, to be devoted to one another. And if we want to be a one another church, if we want to be a church that genuinely cares for our community, genuinely cares for each other, we're going to have to find ways past our hurts, we're going to have to find ways past our disappointments. Yesterday, we had a panel of people join me on stage. They were sharing their um, wisdom that they had found over these last few years about how they have helped and coped with the relationships in their life. And I want to share some of their insights that they, um, that they said with you today. You know, in the book of Genesis, in Genesis 1, God talks about things that are good. He created the world and he says, it is good good. He, on day one, he created it, he said it's good. Day two, he created it, he said it is good. Even when he created you and me, he said it is good. But then we turn over the page to Genesis 2 and he says it is not good. And what he's referring to there, he says it is not good for man to be alone. We need each other. If we want to fulfill the plans and purposes that God has for you and I in this world, then we need other people. We need relationships in our lives. We need people in order to be able to work together and to be a team and to be a church and to be a church family that accomplishes everything that God has for us. One of the questions I asked the panel was, how do we cope with loneliness? And they came up with lots of different answers. And one of the answers that kept on coming up was, be brave. Be brave. Step out. Even though, it's, even though it's scary, even though sometimes we want to be isolated, we want to hold ourselves back, but be brave and, and step out. Join groups, get involved. Here at Destiny Church, there's loads of different groups you can get involved with. We've got Cafe Connect tomorrow. We've got uh, a prayer meeting coming up on Wednesday night. There are loads of different opportunities to connect with different people. Also, as a church family, we have a responsibility to reach out to other people. You never know what week someone else has had. So if you feel led to um, contact somebody, send them a message, let them know, I encourage you to do it. I encourage you to pick up the phone, make that phone call, because people need people. We've just heard about that in Genesis 2. We need each other. And loneliness can, it doesn't matter whether you're single, whether you're married, we can all go through times where we feel lonely, when we feel isolated. And so I just want to encourage you, as part of the church family, to keep making connections with people, to keep contacting people, to keep messaging people, to keep those uh, lines of communication open, because you don't know the difference that you are making in someone else's life. There's so many times people have talked to me about the difference that I have made in their life, and I didn't even realize I was making it. But just by being there for somebody, just by chatting to somebody, you can make a really big difference. You know, in Luke 10, 27, it talks about three different types of relationships. It says, love the Lord your God with all your heart, all your soul, and all your mind. Love your neighbor as you love yourself. Three types of relationships there. The first one, your relationship with God. Do you know God wants a relationship with you? He cares about you. He's madly in love with you. And he sent his son to die on a cross so that you can have a relationship with God, so that you can be friends with God. There's no barriers anymore between you and God. The second type of relationship is the loving your neighbor, is loving each other, caring about each other. And the third type of relationship is a relationship that we have with ourselves. 
How do you feel about yourself? What do you, do you love yourself? Do you love the person that God has created? The unique, single masterpiece person that God has created you to be. It's so important because out of that relationship, the relationship we have with ourselves, stems all the other relationships we have. As I said, there's no barrier between us and God when it comes to our relationship. He hasn't put one in the way, but so often we put things in the way. Often our problems with other people are because of barriers that we have put in there. The more we get to know the person that God has created, the more we understand uh, our strengths and our weaknesses, what, what makes us tick, the more we understand to love ourselves, the less barriers that we will put up in the relationships that we have. I also asked the panel the question about tough times, and many of them have been through tough times, whether it's um, divorce, uh, bereavement, they've all gone through some tough situations, and they came up with some great answers. Uh, for instance, one person mentioned about worship and mentioned that often when you're going through a tough time or you're going through a big hurt and, it's, and you can't find the words to say, you often don't know what to pray, but worship can be a great way of responding to God, a great way of being able to allow your soul to express, and allow yourself to still communicate with God even when you can't find the words. For me, one of the big things about tough times is just keep going. Keep putting one foot in front of the other. It is so important to just keep going and then you'll find yourself coming out of the fog eventually. Another question we asked was about how do you maintain a healthy relationship? And everybody on the panel had different advice. And you know, when I was researching this sermon, I came up with lots of different, um, I found lots of different pieces of advice. There's loads of advice out there about how to maintain a healthy relationship. And you know what I noticed? Was that most of the relation, most of the advice out there about relationships wasn't very good because it wasn't Bible based. When Christ is at the center of your relationship, you are on a good start. So for me, having Christ as the anchor of your relationship, having Christ right at the center of your relationship is vital, is so important. Because that way, whenever you feel like you're, you're being set off adrift, you're going one way or another, you've always got something to bring you back into a place. God created you. God created your partner. God knows the best for each and every one of us. And he laid that advice down in a book called the Bible. When you stick to that, your relationship will blossom. Your relationship will grow. I really believe that. I believe God wants long-lasting relationships for you. I believe God wants long-lasting relationships for you and your family, for you and your friends. Even in the business world, I believe God wants you to be blessed and to succeed in the relationships that you are developing. I hope today has encouraged you. I'm sorry once again that we can't, we can't bring you the full broadcast, but I hope this has been able to inspire you to go and think about the relationships in your life. Thank you for listening. And please click on the subscribe button, click the bell for notification. And if anything in this message has um, motivated you or anything in here you, that you really liked, please comment below. Let us know where you are watching this from. Thank you very much. God bless you.